Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson, I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps, and today I'm going to do a demonstration of how you can use Microsoft Forms and Planner to capture feedback for your intranet projects uh, so that it can be prioritised. I start by creating a Microsoft Planner board. Um, so I've got a Planner board here for my project and I've got various buckets, and I've added a bucket in here called Suggestions. I've also created a Microsoft Form over in Forms. This form's got three simple questions, a suggestion title, the suggestion itself, which is a multi-line value, and the email address of the person submitting the form. I've also added a, a question at the top here just to include uh, details of um, what to do, some instructions for the person filling the form in. So the idea is anyone in the organisation can complete the form, submit it, it will end up on the planner board, and then it can be prioritised by the project team or reviewed for more information. So what we need, need to do once we've got the planner set up and the form created is then in Power Automate, we're going to choose the Create option, and then from here we're going to use an existing out-of-the-box template. So great news, Microsoft actually builds the perfect template for this particular task. So if I go over into the search box and type Forms, it'll bring back a bunch of pre-built form templates. And one of the ones which we want to have, uh, have a look at here is this one which is called Create a Planner Task when Microsoft Form is submitted. Now you'll see that it gets used a bit, so let's grab that one. And what will happen is Microsoft will build a uh, nice template for you, saving you a lot of hard work. It'll just go validate the credentials for, that, um, uh, for the form, and if I click Continue, it will take us into the environment itself. Once we've done that, we can take, take this uh, template workflow and then make a few changes to it on uh, adding in the, the missing information. So we start with a form ID, so we're just going to select the form. So we choose our form, I've got one called Suggestions. Um, we're going to get the form ID, again we just choose Suggestion. Uh, and then the response ID, which is the current item. Down here in the create a task, um, if I zoom that a wee bit, it might be easier to see. We're going to choose our plan, so I'm just going to choose one called hub site demo. We're going to um, add a title. I'm going to, now we don't want all the tasks to have the same title so what we're going to do here is going to call this one new suge uh, suggestion perhaps. And if I just zoom out a wee bit, over in the dynamic content you'll get the items here and you'll see this one called suggestion title coming from the form. Um, we need to select which bucket we want it to go into. So I'm just going to choose my suggestions bucket. And then we can enter in a due date if we wish, uh, and so on in here, and we can even assign this to a person if we want to. Um, there's a small delay in this form. I think this is to allow, the, allow everything to update. And then we're going to have a create a task. Now the task ID <coughs> will be the ID of the item, and the description will be the um, detail that we entered into that to, to our suggestion before. So we've actually got the um, suggestion itself down here, so we're going to put the suggestion in, and actually what we want to do is we want to put that up top there, so I'm just going to click, close that one, click in the right place, and choose Suggestion. And what that'll do is it'll add the detail from the suggestion into the email. Now we do have some other options that we can add in here, but we don't need those for this simple solution. Once we've done that, we're just going to go back to the top of Power Automate, we're going to make sure we save our workflow, and then let's give it a wee demo. So just to remind you, jumping back into Planner, we have nothing in the suggestions list here. I'm now going to run the form. In fact, actually, I'm just going to paste the form in which I did earlier. I'm going to go uh, uh, add learning pathways. I hope you're all using learning pathways. Um, and the suggestion is add the learning pathways site to the navigation. Perhaps use a quick link on the home page. I've got my email address in down here and then I'm just going to go to the down to the bottom and submit my form. Now we'll give this about three or four seconds and you'll notice that if we jump back over into the um, into our planner that in a moment we should see a task appearing in the planner list here, all things being equal. There we go, and now our suggestion has now appeared. We click into the suggestion, you can see the details of the suggestion, you can see where it was submitted from and so on on there. So now if we get a bunch of suggestions coming in, 
we can meet um, at our steering group, uh, review the submissions that have come in, prioritize them and allocate them or and approve and allocate them to someone to do. Um, so it makes it really nice and easy to capture feedback from the organization so that you've got wider input into your internet project. So that's quite a simple demo, it's using out of the box functionality, I um, hope this is useful. Uh, don't forget you can also add the link to the forms web part to your internet itself, uh, that might be another suggestion we do, uh, to make it easier for people to submit feedback. Hope you've enjoyed this demo, if you have please hit subscribe um, on my channel, um, love to have you around for my next video.